I'm pleased to join you this evening and welcome you to Nairobi, Kenya, the land of great opportunities. I hope that you have had a chance to relax and acclimatize to the Nairobi weather. Kenya values your presence as you attend the UN Habitat Assembly and look forward to engaging with your respective delegations on the pertinent issue of human settlements and urbanization. We will also be happy to share with you our experience in urban development and learn from you too. The theme of this assembly is close to Kenya and indeed other countries in the developing world. It is therefore my hope that the discussions on topics such as the universal access to affordable housing, urban climate actions, urban crisis recovery, localization of SDGs, as well as the prosperity and local finance will lead to concrete proposals for realizations of key sustainable development goal targets. This assembly is happening at a time when we in Kenya are engaged in a vibrant debate on provision of adequate and affordable housing for our people. We believe that provision of housing for all is key in promoting sound health, dignity, safety, security, inclusion, and social well-being of our citizens. The government of Kenya has therefore prioritized the achievement of affordable housing agenda. However, we recognize that the challenges of provision of adequate housing are immense and global, and hence the need for member states to come together for a holistic approach. Housing is key mandate of the UN Habitat. As you continue our deliberations, we hope that member states will explore options for enhancing the mandate of the UN Habitat in supporting states to address housing challenges. Distinguished guests, we appreciate that rapid urbanization offers great opportunities for global economic prosperity. Indeed, Kenya, a developing nation like her peers on the global south, has experienced economic growth from a low-income to a middle-income country. However, we have also experienced the challenges of rapid growth, especially in the development of our urban areas and human settlements. With an urbanization rate of 3.4% annually, Kenya needs at least 2 million housing units for the next four years. All are so far our people to live in dignity. Of the new formal housing units developed, only 2% target people at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid. This partly explains why over 60% of urban families reside in formal settlements in Kenya. It is again in this background, distinguished guests, that Kenya, with the support of partners, has taken a number of measures on implementation of new urban agenda in attaining SDG number 11 on sustainable cities and communities. Riding on the successes of the Kenya Informal Settlement Improvement Program Phase 1, we are scaling up the program of 33 other counties on decent housing. Some 263 on improvement on infrastructure are ongoing in 45 out of the 47 counties. Further, the government is implementing the affordable housing agenda that aims to build 200,000 units annually. Besides adopting the public-private partnership model, we are pooling resources in the housing fund for affordable homes across the nation. This has been factored in the finance bill 2023. Unemployed Kenyans are expected to contribute 3% of their salaries to this fund. Progressively, this will help us address inequity, inequality in access to decent housing. While we have elaborate strategies on sustainable housing and settlement pollutions, remain a challenge due to past bangled planning. Climate change crisis also threatens human existence in Africa and indeed globally. Distinguished guests, as the host of UNEP, Kenya is taking various measures to regain lost grounds in addition to the environment. In our determination to meet the demand of affordable housing in Kenya, 
We are guided by the sound impact assessment studies. We have also established Nairobi Rivers Commission to coordinate activities of cleaning the city rivers. As we battle climate change, majorly due to pollution globally, we challenge the UN and other mandate agencies to lead in ensuring development countries, particularly in Africa, are adequately compensated. On the other hand, Kenya remains one of the countries in Africa enjoying peace and stability. It is also the launch pad of UN peace, security and humanitarian assistance initiatives at the Great Lakes region at the Horn of Africa. In this regard, Kenya is contributing to Goal 16 on promoting peaceful and inclusive societies. We restate our commitment to supporting the UN Achievers Mandate on Peace and Security. With this increased role beyond the initial hosting of UNEP and the UN, we make a special appeal to member states to support the expansion, upgrading, and strengthening of the UN offices in Nairobi in order to increase the physical and technical capacity and the effectiveness and efficiency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I would like to invite you to take time to visit our national parks and game reserves, beaches, as well and enjoy the hospitality of the Kenyan people. I also invite you this evening as I walked in to continue listening to good melodies and beautiful songs by our people here in Kenya. Thank you very much, Asante Sana, and may you enjoy your evening and your stay in Nairobi and Kenya. Asante Sana, thank you very much.